Ayas, also known as Telamonian Ayas, Greater Ayas, or Ayas the Great. Born in the island of Salamis of the Aegean Sea, he was the son of Telamon and his first wife, Periboea. He was sent in his youth to be trained by the centaur Chiron, leaving it as a strong and intelligent man. His most notable feat of arms was his participation on the Trojan War, due to the kidnapping of Alan by Paris. Hayas was bound by the oath of Tyndareos to defend the interests of the chosen husband in the matters related to Helen, the daughter of Tyndareos. Hayas being one of those suitors, he was obliged to follow the disgraced husband, Manelaos, in the war against the Trojans. He went to battle wielding a massive spear and a huge shield made of seven cow hides with a layer of bronze that he used in tandem with his half-brother, Teuser, that stood behind Hayas' shield, picking off enemy Trojans with his bow. In the Achaean army, Ayas was known as the Bulwark of the Achaeans, due to his great strength and fearlessness that is shown in his two fights against Hector of Troy, the son of King Priam of Troy. On their first duel, Ayas completely overpowered Hector, wounding him with his spear and a throwing a large stone that lived Hector to the ground. Still, Hector fought for several rounds throughout the day until a draw was called by both parties. Acknowledging each other's skills, they exchanged gifts, Ayas giving Hector a purple sash, while Hector gave his sharp sword to Ayas. Their second duel would occur later in the campaign when Hector rallied the Trojans for an attack in the Mycenaean camp with the intention of burning the Achaean ships, thus stranding the Greeks of any support or supplies. Ayas stood in front of any who would try to burn the ships, killing many Trojans. Hector then advanced against Ayas, that threw the large stone against him once again, almost killing him this time. However, Hector continued to fight, being able to break Ayas' spear, the great warrior had no other choice than to retreat, leaving the Trojans to burn many ships. The rest of the Achaean ships were saved due to the attack of Patroclus, Achilles' closest companion and lover, that disguised himself as Achilles and commanded his Myrmidons, leading to the withdrawal of the Trojans from the Mycenaean camp. Ayas would see the death of Patroclus against Hector due to his forced attempt to catch the routing Trojans, making Ayas and Menelaos to charge against the Trojan lines to save Patroclus' body. Although being able to rescue his body, the Trojans had already taken Achilles' armor that Patroclus was using. Before the second duel, Ayas, alongside with Odysseus and Phoenix, went to the tent of Achilles to try and persuade him to rejoin the battle against the Trojans, because at that time Achilles was in a quarrel with Agamemnon and so was not participating in the war. No one of the three warriors was able to persuade Achilles to re-enter in the war, but when Patroclus was slain by Hector after the second duel, Achilles swore revenge against Hector and the Trojans killing many along his path of destruction, including the son of Priam. By the end of the Trojan War, Paris killed Achilles, leaving Ayas and Odysseus to rescue his body. Ayas alone picked Achilles up and led him to the Achaean ships, while Odysseus fended off against the incoming Trojans. Ayas survived the war and lived the conflict claiming over the new armor of the deceased Achilles. However, many other generals claim also its possession. 
During several days of competition, Odysseus and Ayas were tied up for the ownership of the armor. So both argued in the presence of the Achaean leaders of who deserved more Achilles' armor. Ayas reminded them of his feats of strength and valor in the war, being able to fight off two times against Hector and his defense of the Mycenaean camp during the Trojan attempt to burn the ships. Although he was strong and an intelligent warrior, Odysseus was known for his cunning, and with his better eloquence, he was able to make the counsel of the Achaean leaders to give him the armor. Hyas, livid for the decision taken by the Achaean council, decided to take revenge by slaughtering herds of catcher livestock from those who voted on Odysseus. Unconquered in all of his engagements, Telamonian Ayas is finally beaten by his own sorrow, throwing himself over the sword that Hector gave him in their first duel, ending with his life. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you wish to support the channel any further, consider becoming a patron and pledging up to $1 to see my videos early than anyone else on YouTube and to check out details and information about future videos and series 